What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I have this very fancy little bag filled with a whole load of new stuff from Spectrum. So they recently launched um, a new makeup collection and they sent me a few things. So they sent me the Dark Matter Mascara from the Zodiac collection and then I think the whole reasoning behind this very lovely bag is down to the new Oceana collection. So yeah, we've got a mascara, then we also have the Oyster Highlighter, which I'll open up in a second. We have the eyeshadow palette, which I actually have no idea what this is like. Oh, whoa. That's a nice ass palette. Oh, and you've got like a nice matte shade in there, and you can remove the pans and everything. Oh, I'm liking this. That's a really nice palette. I then also have the Oceana Reef, what even are you? Ocean Drops Face and Body Liquid Shimmer. Ooh, okay, it's very kind of like, it's like an oil. I don't know if you can see, but it's got like the um, the pigment of all, is all kind of like settled there. It's very liquidy. Hang on a minute. I thought that was gonna be basically like a facial oil or something, just like a shimmery kind of facial oil. But actually, it's a bit more glittery than I personally like, because I usually like them a little bit more metallic. But that, like, I don't know if you can see, but that is definitely giving me a sheen. So obviously, as you can probably tell, I do have pretty much a full face on, but I did leave my cheekbones here because obviously I knew we were gonna be trying out some cheek products. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and blot down my cheeks. I've barely put any powder on my skin or anything today at all, so this hopefully shouldn't affect it too much, but I'm gonna get like a decent amount there. And like, I'm a little bit nervous because it is just so liquidy that I'm like, do I want to catch it with a sponge or like, what am I doing here? But let's just see what we can do. Right. Okay. Okay. This is fine. Oh, where's my mirror? Okay. And then I'm just going to tap that in on my cheeks. Is that picking up my foundation or is that just the pigment? I can't really tell at this point. Okay. I need to blend it out more, but that's actually quite nice. Like, I won't lie, it is a bit more of a pain in the ass, the fact of how like liquidy it is, because you do basically need to go. Right, da, 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 and then blend it in instantly, otherwise it will go a bit kind of patchy and weird. I mean, it's not even the sort of color that I would go for. Like normally, I'm really not into a pink highlight, but like actually now that's blended out with my foundation a little bit, it just looks like it's part of my skin. That's actually better than I thought it was gonna be. So now I just realized that I didn't even do my usual thing where I'm like, so if you want to see me do that, then, you know, swipe or whatever. I just went straight into the makeup. I'm sorry about that. Sorry if you're waiting for that swipe. I've just ended up being too excited and now here I am chucking loads of makeup on. Okay, so let's have a look at this Oyster Highlighter. Okay, feels nice. Looks pretty nice. Let me just swatch here. Okay, I've definitely got something there. This kind of seems like a geochromy sort of highlighter as well. All right, so I'm gonna dust off my highlighter brush, just so you know there's no cheating or nothing. And I'm gonna take some of that on my highlighter brush, do a couple of swirls, tap off the excess, and we're just gonna do this. Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't sure what was happening for a minute, but this looks very promising. It's like smoothing my cheekbones out. It's like almost completely getting rid of the texture on my cheekbones. That's pretty nuts. Again, this is like, I was looking at this and this isn't my usual sort of shade of highlighter, but it actually, with that pinky sort of, whatever it's called, these things underneath, it actually looks really nice. Let me try a bit on my finger and we'll do on the end of the snoz. Nice. And I left this side completely clear of the other highlighter just so we can see what this is like. Oh, that's pretty. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not like a new everyday highlighter for me because it's not my usual kind of everyday tone, but that's really nice. It's not like the craziest, most blinding highlighter in the world, but it's very, very smooth on the skin. I mean, you can still get it to be like absolutely, I mean, it just looks like I've got a sheet of tinfoil on my face right now. But you don't have to like fully build it up. You can just have a little bit more of like a subtle glow like up here. So yeah, I really kind of rate that. I mean, if they go ahead and bring out some kind of like gold and champagne sort of highlighters, I'm there. All right, so now we're gonna try out the star of the show, which is of course the eyeshadow palette. So this is called just the Oceana Spectrum eyeshadow palette. Oh, these colors. It's almost a shame because I feel like I've been doing so many kind of green and purple toned eye looks, but 
they're, they're just here. Like <laughs> when you're dangling right in front of me, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna go. Ooh, I can't help myself. These companies, they keep bringing out purple and blue and green eyeshadow palettes, and I'm just like, I have to put you on my face. Let's do a couple of swatches. Let's try out Horizon. Okay, I was maybe expecting a little bit more. So now I'm curious. Let's try out Deep. This purple. Okay, this feels very creamy. Okay, yeah, that looks insane. Maybe it's like. Is it more of a, oh, it's actually kind of more of like a moussey texture. Interesting. Let's try out this salt shade here. I like the name of it. Oh, that's very pretty. And maybe we can do like, I don't know, wave. These look good. Let um, me try and like do some swatches here. A little bit chalky, but obviously it's only a finger swatch. That one, which looks quite foily. That, which is more of like a shimmery glitter. Salt, which is stunning. And then, what was that from? Oh, that was that one. I was like, why is that swatch so bad? It's because I already did it, lol. All right, lads, I think I know what we need to do. I consulted myself and I think I need to do some kind of like pastely pink, lilac-y, sparkly, shiny something. That's what we're doing. All right, so to kick this off, I'm gonna go in with the shade Current here. So I'm just gonna load my brush up with that. And I'm just gonna slap a sponge all over my eyelid, just for lols. And I'm just gonna lightly sketch that into my crease. It's actually more pastely than I thought it was gonna be and I'm here for it. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna ever so slightly buff that out, just a little bit by a little bit. I actually rate these, you know? Like, I actually completely forgot that I was actually reviewing a palette for a second, and I was just kind of doing like a standard eye tutorial, which like, means that I'm obviously not having any issues with these at all. They're literally blending out exactly how I want them to. I mean, granted, I've only tried out one shade so far, but so far I'm very impressed by this one shade. I'm now gonna take this shade here called Deep, which is probably like one of my favorite colors in the palette. I'm just gonna shake off the excess there, and I'm gonna try at least to stick that onto my lid. Ooh, for a second I thought it was just kind of like sheer glitter, but hang on a minute. I feel like it might take a little bit of building. Yeah, that's actually way more glittery than I thought it was gonna be, but I kind of love it. Okay, to be fair, there was quite a bit of fallout there. <laughs> Ooh, I like that color though. Ooh, I like that color a lot. You know what, I'm curious, I'm gonna use my finger, cause it feels really creamy using my finger. I'll just show you there. Oh yes, beach. That's what you want to do. You want to use a slightly tacky base with that and you want to give yourself the middle finger and slap it on your lid. Oh, that's such a nice color. I actually kind of don't want to do too much more to my eyes to be honest, because I really like that. But like sometimes I end up just like adding more and more colors to my eyes because I'm like, I want to try out more colors. But then like, you know what? I. Just wanna use two colors on my eyes today. Okay, should we try this shade here? Let's try this out on my inner corner. Okay. It's quite chunky, but that can sometimes work in my favor because it ends up forming more of like a cream. That's like a really kind of like icy blue color and I'm living for it. It's almost like, not even a blue, like a minty green. What's this one called again? Salt. I like that one a lot. Oh shit. That's sick. That's sick. So now I'm gonna take that same brush that I was using before in my crease and I'm going in with the shade Current again, which was the matte purpley pink. See, it's not that pigmented, but it like, it just builds up so nicely. I mean, I definitely think they apply better on wet skin, like on a tacky base. But yeah, no, that green color's cool. All right guys, so last but not least, before we finish this makeup look off, I have the Zodiac Dark Matter Black Mascara. So let's crack this guy open. Okay, the packaging's pretty standard. Da, 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 da. It's a plastic wand. This is what I like to see. Okay, so I'm just gonna wiggle that through my lashes. Whoa. Ooh. Just making noises at this point. Okay, that makes my lashes super long. Okay, this is really nice. It's not my usual, like, you guys know I normally like a clumpy kind of lash. I mean, this is obviously, I am layering it up here, but 
But this is really just kind of like making my lashes curl and making them look super, super long. Really like that. And I'll just pop that on my lower lashes as well. So I'm just like making my lower lashes look too long. It's like, whoever had that problem, just plucking off the ends of it just so I can like make them look a little bit shorter. Ooh, that's a nice mascara. Yeah, that's actually really nice. Oh, I like this. All right, guys, you know the drill. I'm just gonna go off camera, do the other eye. I might add some lashes. I'll have a little play around and see what I think. Um, and then I'll let you guys know my thoughts. All right, guys, so this is a finished look. I did go ahead and add some lashes just purely because I wanted to take a picture for Instagram. But I mean, you could see how the mascara looked in the previous cutaways. It's so good. Overall, if we have a nice little close up look at myself, maybe not that close. I'm actually really impressed. Like I, I don't know, for some reason, like I was really excited about trying out the Spectrum Cosmetics, but I don't know, I had like one of those weird feelings that it was gonna be like, I don't know, like boohoo makeup all over again or something. And then when I saw this stuff as well, I was like, is that gonna do anything? But evidently, freaking did. Yeah, I actually liked everything. I know I only tried out four products, but I, yeah, I really liked everything. I just wanna quickly double check how much everything is, cause maybe that might change my mind. Let's like see how much the eyeshadow palette is maybe. So that is 30 pounds. So it is slightly more expensive, but honestly like, I kinda get it. I think the main reason why it maybe seems a little bit steep is because Spectrum didn't have makeup, but I guess they had makeup brushes, so why the hell couldn't they bring out makeup? But I mean like, if this was, I don't know, an Urban Decay palette, I'd be like, yeah, 30 quid all over that. And yeah, the quality's good. I like the colors. I like that you can pop out the pans, means that they might, in my head, means that they might come up with like refills or something. So yeah, overall, I am very impressed and I'm really enjoying this eye look. So guys, let me know what you think of this makeup look in the comment section down below. Let me know if you're gonna be trying out any of the Spectrum products or if you have tried anything out. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I'm hungry.